Hello and welcome to Pilates with Brooke. So before we get started today, I wanted to share my exciting news with you all. I had mentioned um, in a couple previous videos at the end of the videos that some changes were going to be happening. And what those changes are is that my family and I are moving come August, so a little over a month. We are moving to uh, land that we purchased in the mountains of Western Virginia. So the scenery for my Pilates classes is gonna be very different. For a while, it will mainly be outside. In fact, I'm gonna try and do as many outside classes I, as I can because the views are amazing. <laughs> we are so excited for this move, but it's gonna be a crazy transition because right now we have nothing on the property. So big changes are in store. Um, if you are interested, we started a YouTube channel called Freedom Ranch Homestead, and I will provide a link for you. And it kind of gives you an idea of what the land looks like and the process that we're going through in order to get ourselves settled there. But I will continue my Pilates classes here for the next month, and then it's gonna be all about Virginia and the amazing views. So be sure to subscribe to my other channel and continue with the workouts. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with the workout for today. Sitting lengthwise on your mat, we're gonna slowly roll ourselves down to lay into our neutral pelvis. Extend the arms out, draw the belly button in and up, pull the shoulders down the back, take an inhale through the nose into the chest. And then exhale, scoop the tummy in and round yourself down one vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly. Once you come down, walk your hips and feet a little bit closer, separate the feet so that they are hip bone width apart, arms long by your side, neutral pelvis, inhale. Exhale, imprint that spine, so rocking the pelvis, really squeezing the abdominals in tight, lengthening into the back of the neck, inhale, come back to neutral pelvis, letting the lower spine slightly arch up. Again, exhale, rock the pelvis, squeeze the abdominals. Inhale, come back to your neutral pelvis. From here, actively reach those arms long by your side. Take an inhale. Exhale, curl your head and chest up as high as you can go. We're going to be starting with our hundreds. You're going to inhale for five as you pulse the arms and exhale for five. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You can bring your knees into tabletop, hugging the inner thighs in. Inhale again. And exhale. If you want to extend the legs out to 45, you can, imprinting that spine. We have three more sets. Inhale. And exhale. Squeeze that tummy tight. Last one here. And bend the knees into your chest. Let your head rest. Reach your fingertips to your ankles, single leg stretch. Inhale for me. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Extend your left leg out. Take your left hand to that right knee. Curl up a little bit higher. Put fire into that leg as you switch legs. And switch. Good. Eyes are to where the toes are reaching, about a 45 degree angle. Scooping that tummy in tight. Using that exhale to pull the abdominals in even deeper. Two more each leg. One more. Bend the knees into your chest. Let your head come down to rest. Double leg stretch. Reach the arms long. Inhale. Exhale. Curl your head and chest up. Inhale. Extend the arms and legs. Sweep the arms around. Tuck the knees back in. Again. Four more. You make sure your back stays imprinted. Last two. Last one. And lower the head down. Extend your left leg long onto the floor. Reach your right leg up with the hands behind it. Externally rotate that leg. Release the arms by your side. Single leg circles. Inhale, cross over the left hip. Sweep the leg around. Bring it up and reach it for six. Inhale, pull the tummy tight, and reach it five, four, got the last two, and then we reverse directions. Really stabilize the pelvis with the abdominals, 
and now reverse it. Open slightly to the right, sweep down, reach it up, and lengthen. Again. Beautiful. Last two here. Reach the leg long, pull that tummy tight, and bend the knee into the chest. Reach that right leg out long to meet the left. Bend your left knee in, hands behind the thigh. Single leg circles on the other leg. Reach the leg up, externally rotate it, pull the tummy tight, arms long by your side. Inhale, cross over, exhale, reach it for six. Five, pull that tummy tight. Four, three, last two, one more here. And now reverse it. Sweep it around, lengthen it. Six, five, beautiful. Reach that leg long. Four, pull that tummy tight. Three, two, one more here. And bend the knee into the chest. Let your other knee come in as well. Take an inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Reach the legs up to the sky. Release your left leg, grab onto the right calf muscle with your right leg for our straight leg stretch. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pull this leg in a little closer for two counts. Stretch, stretch, and switch. Good, pulling that tummy in tight. Three more each leg, and then we're doing our single straight leg stretch. Beautiful, good, stretch it deeper. And now bring the fingertips to cradle the head. Single, straight leg stretch. Reach it. Curl up higher if you can, getting those shoulder blades off the mat. Pull the tummy in tight. Try and fire into the quad as the leg reaches to the head and up to the sky. Two more. One more each leg. And bend the knees into the chest. Let your head rest. Beautiful, rocking side to side. Bring those fingertips to cradle the head again. Take an inhale, exhale, curl the head and chest up. Got a double straight leg stretch. Reach those legs up, externally rotate them, Pilates stance, pull the tummy in tight, curl up higher. Inhale, lengthen the legs away, exhale, lift. Again, inhale, reach, pull the tummy in, back flat against the mat, exhale, lift. Four more here. Three more, squeeze that belly button in tight. Last two. And last one. And bend the knees into the chest. Let your head rest, gently rocking side to side. Beautiful. And now fingertips come back to cradle the head. Take another inhale for me. Exhale, curl your head and chest up. Good, we're going into our crisscross. Reach your right leg out to 45. Take your right chest up and across to that knee. And then switch. And switch. Good. Rotating across the base of those shoulder blades. Really trying to curl up as high as you can and stay that way. Bringing the chest to the knee. Hugging the knee to the midline. Good. Four more each left. Four. Three, two, last one each leg, and bend the knees in. Let the head rest. Good. And now extend your left leg long, and then the right leg out to meet it. Separating the feet about hip width apart, I want you to flex the feet. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. We're going into our roll up. Rib cage closed. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, begin peeling yourself up off of the mat, staying rounded. Lengthen yourself towards the toes, scooping the tummy in up over an imaginary ball. Inhale, come up, stay rounded, and then round yourself all the way back down. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, peel it up. Slow and controlled, scooping that tummy in tight, staying rounded as you reach, and then coming up and staying rounded, rolling the shoulders down the back. We have three more here. Inhale, exhale it up, squeezing that tummy in tight, keeping the chin tucked in, rounding the spine. Inhale, come up and round yourself down. Last two, curl it up. 
Squeeze that tummy in tight. Round it over the ball. Inhale up. And exhale, round it down. One more here. And curl it up. And round it over on this next one. I want you just to stack your vertebrae up here. Sit tall. Good. Spine stretch. Inhale, twist open towards the screen. Reach the back arm back as far as you can as you actively reach the other arm in. Scoop the tummy in tight. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, twist away, squeezing into the upper back muscle. Exhale, center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, twist. Pull that tummy in. Exhale, two more each side. Inhale, reach. And center. Inhale, lengthen. And center one more time. Pull that tummy in and up. Grow taller as you twist. And center, last one here. And center, inhale, halt. Exhale, spine, stretch forward. Scoop the tummy in tight. Inhale, stack the vertebrae up. Again, exhale, spine, stretch forward. Scoop that tummy in and up. Fire up those legs. Inhale, stack up. One more time. Exhale, and then inhale, step, and then exhale, round yourself down, one vertebrae at a time. Once you come down, bend your right knee into a tabletop position. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, point that right toe, exhale, curl the head and chest up, and bring yourself up for a single leg teaser. Inhale, reach the arms up, it bothers your back, don't lift the arms. Exhale, round it down. Good, three more. And curl it up. Pull the tummy in tight. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale it down. Last two. Curl it up. Keeping that knee soft. Inhale, lengthen the arms up. Pull the tummy in. And round it down. Last time, reach it. And curl it up. Take it out. Lift it up and round it down and bend the knee into your chest and then lengthen it out to meet the left leg. Flex that right foot, bend the left knee in. Point the left toe, arms to the sky. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, single leg teaser. Curl it up. Good. Pull the tummy in tight. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, round it down. Three more. Curl it up. Inhale, lift the arms, and exhale, round it down. Good. Last two. Curl it up. Use the abdominals. Inhale, reach the arms, and round it down. One more here. Curl it up. Squeeze that tummy in. Inhale, lift, and exhale, round it down. Beautiful. Bend that knee into your chest. And then bring your right knee up as well. Good. Gently rock yourself side to side. So now modify teasers. Bend the knees into tabletop. Hug the inner thighs and reach the arms up. Inhale, lift the arms slightly overhead. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Kick the legs out, squeezing the inner thighs. And bringing yourself up to your modified teaser. Pull the tummy in as you reach the arms up on the inhale. And then exhale, round yourself down, finding your tabletop and neutral pelvis again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl it up. Take the legs out, squeeze the inner thighs together. Lengthen the arms up as you draw the lower abdominal area in. And then round it down. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Kick it up. Squeeze the tummy in. Lift the arms up. And round it in. One more here. And curl it up. And inhale, reach. And exhale, round it down. Hug the knees into your chest. Rolling like a ball. Hands behind your thighs. Modified version first. Tuck your chin in. Inhale for me. Exhale, rock yourself up to come to balance on your sit bones. Let me scoot forward just a smidgen. Good. So hands behind the thighs to begin with. Elbows out to the side. Tuck the chin in. Scoop the belly button in. Inhale. Rock back along your vertebrae to your shoulder blades. Exhale. Come up to balance just behind your tailbone. Try not to let the toes touch the ground. Again. Inhale. Rock back. 
Exhale, scoop the tummy in to put the brakes on. Two more like this. Last one, really round through the spine, tuck that chin in, come up and hold. Now bring the hands to the feet, tuck yourself into a nice tight ball and try and stay that way. Inhale, rock back, exhale, come up and balance. Pull that tummy in to put the brakes on. Again, inhale, exhale, come up two more times. Last one here. Hold yourself there, open the legs, grab onto the ankles, lengthen the spine nice and long, open leg rocker prep, pull the tummy in tight, inhale, reach the right leg out, good, so you want it about a shoulder width, don't open it up super wide to the side, and then bend the leg back in, pull the tummy in tight, shoulders down, left leg, inhale, stretch it up, good, and bend it in, right leg again, inhale, Hold that right leg there and then extend the left leg. Both legs up, shoulder width apart, pull the tummy in tight, draw the shoulders down, bend both knees back in. Left leg this time, inhale, reach it, hold it there. Right leg lengthens, hold, pull the tummy in tight, leg from the spine and bend it in. Both legs now, inhale, stretch them up, pull the tummy in, shoulders down, exhale, bend. We're gonna rock it on this next one, ready? Lengthen up, inhale, scoop the tummy and rock back onto the shoulder blades. Exhale, lift and lengthen and pause at the top. Again, scoop, inhale, rock back. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Two more times, rock it, scoop that tummy in tight. Lift, pull it in tighter. Good, last one here. Scoop it, round it back, lift, and lengthen, bring the legs together, squeeze the inner thighs, release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, round yourself down and bend the knees into your chest. Good. From here, extend your left leg long and then the right leg. Separate the feet, hip bone width apart, and once again, flex the feet. Bring your fingertips to cradle your head. We're gonna do a modified neck pull to begin with. So elbows are open wide, rib cage is closed, legs are fired up, really push those heels out and away. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Inhale, reach that arm overhead slightly, rib cage closed. Exhale, begin peeling yourself up, pressing through the heels, rounding up and over those thighs, bring the right hand to the back of the head. Inhale, open the chest towards those toes for a straight spine, and then pivot yourself back with a straight spine, hold. Inhale again on the angle, exhale, tuck the chin and round yourself down. Now left arm up, inhale, reach, fire up those legs. Exhale, peel yourself up and over the thighs. Bring the fingertips to cradle the head, pull the tummy in. Inhale, open the chest towards those toes and pivot back to a straight spine. Hold, pull that tummy in and up. Inhale again, exhale, round it down. Now we do both hands behind the head, fire up the legs, take an inhale, exhale, curl the head and chest up, lengthening into the back of those legs, rounding over, inhale, open the chest, lengthen the spine, pull the tummy in, pivot yourself back, hold, pull the tummy in, inhale, twist towards the screen, exhale, come through center, inhale, twist away, Exhale, center, inhale, hold, pull the tummy in. Exhale, round it down. We do it again, inhale. Exhale, curl it up. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, pivot back. Inhale, twist away from the screw. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist towards it. Exhale, center, hold. As you inhale, pull the tummy tight. Exhale, round it down. We have two more without twisting. Inhale, fire up those legs. Exhale, begin peeling yourself up and over the thighs. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, pivot back, straight spine. Hold, inhale, scoop the tummy in tighter, fire up the legs. Exhale, round it down. Go ahead, one more time. And curl it up. 
and lengthen the spine. Inhale. And exhale, pivot back. Inhale, pause, pull the tummy in, and exhale. Round yourself all the way down. Beautiful job. Release your head. Bring your arms along by your side. Bend one knee into your chest. And then the other knee, we're going into corkscrew one. Legs go up to the sky. Externally rotate them into your Pilates stance or Pilates V. Back is firmly pressed into the mat. Inhale, let the legs come to the right hand side. Circle away, pull the tummy in, keep the back flat, bring them up and around to the left and stop back at center. Again to the left this time. Inhale, exhale it up. And then to the right. And then to the left. And to the right. And the left. Keep that back flat. One more time each direction. To the right, pull the tummy tight. Exhale it up. And then to the left. Exhale it up. And bend the knees into the chest. Let your feet come down to the ground, hip bone width apart. We're going to do a little bit of bridge work to open up into the front of our hips and work into our glutes. Neutral pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. Rock the pelvis. Imprint the spine and peel yourself up. One vertebrae at a time. Shoulder blades are drawn together. Take an inhale at the top. And then exhale. Gently press the hips up a little bit higher. Squeezing into the glutes. Take another inhale. And now exhale. Slowly roll yourself down. One vertebrae at a time. Once you come all the way back down to neutral, stay in neutral. Pop the hips up. Squeeze the bottom. And tap them back down for ten. Nine. Eight, really squeeze into the glutes. Good. Pull the tummy in tight to protect the spine. Five more here. Five. Two more. Last one. Stay at the top. Little pulses. Release and squeeze. Ten. Nine. Eight. Push the feet equally into the mat. Six. Back of the neck is long. Five. Last one here. And round yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Once you come down, neutral pelvis, bring one knee in your chest and then the other knee. Quick stretch for the back of those legs. And then we're going to do some single leg bridge work. And then bend the knees back in. Let one foot come down and then the other foot. Feet are hip bone width apart. We're going to work into our right glute. So you're going to bring your left leg up. You're going to gently cross the left ankle on top of that right knee. But keep your left knee in line with your left shoulder, okay? So we don't want it open out wide to the side. It's just hanging out there. We want our pelvis as neutral as possible. Arms long by your side. Shoulder blades pinched together. Back of the neck is long. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze that right bottom and lift up. So here, check to make sure that the pelvis is perfectly parallel to the ground. That you have not let that left knee open and the left hip drop lower than the right. It's just hanging out there. This is not a stretch. It's all about squeezing into the right bottom. Now we tap all the way down. Neutral pelvis. Pop it up for 10. 9. 8. Good. You get 5 more. Really push that foot into the ground and squeeze into the bottom at the top. Good. Last 3. 2. Last one, hold it up there. Bring your left knee into tabletop. Lengthen your left leg up. Check your pelvis. Make sure it's parallel. Flex that left foot. Lengthen the leg down as far as you can without moving the hip. Point the toe, kick it up. Flex and lower. Point and lift. Flex. Lower, point, lift. Two more. Flex. Lower that leg. Point it. And lift it, last one, flex, and point it up, hold the leg there, flex the foot, pulse the hips up for 10, 9, squeeze that right bottom, 8, 7, 6, 3, should be burning, 2, and 1, bend the left leg, lower it down, up in your, still in your bridge, 
both feet grounded, inhale at the top, exhale, round yourself down, one vertebrae at a time, articulate that spine, good, we're going to give that right hip a little stretch, so you're going to cross it over the left, I want you to flex that right foot, let that right knee open, curl up, grab onto that left leg as you pull it in, once you have a hold of the back of that left leg, let the head come back down. So, stretching into the hip, you're pulling that left leg in closer. Let's flex both feet. Then, press that right hip, inner thigh, away from you with your right forearm as you gently pull the left leg in closer. Good. And to get a little deeper into the stretch, you can let your legs and your hips shift just a little bit to the left-hand side. Good. One more breath here. And now gently release the legs, bring them hip bone width apart again, arms along by your side, shoulder blades pinched pinch together. You're going to take your right foot again, cross it on top of that left leg for our single leg bridge work. Remember that right knee now is in line with the shoulder or your chest. Squeeze into the bottom as you lift the hips. Hold yourself here. Check your pelvis. Make sure that right hip is not lower than the left. Ready? Tap the hip down and lift up for 10. Good. Nine. Keep an eye on the pelvis. Eight. Make sure it stays nice and neutral. Seven. Really press the full foot into the ground. Five more here. Five. Squeeze into the bottom. Four. Three. Two. Last. One. Hold it up. Bring your right knee into tabletop. Check your pelvis. Lengthen that right leg up, flex the foot, lower the leg, point the toe, lift it up, flex and lower, point and reach it, flex, two more, last one, hold the leg up, flex the foot, pulse the hips up, ten, nine, squeeze that left arm, eight, seven, Three, two, and one. Bend that right leg, lower it down, center your hips out. You're still up in bridge. Inhale for me, exhale, round yourself down. Articulate the spine. Once you come back to neutral pelvis, bring that left foot onto the right knee. <sighs> A little stretch for the hip now. Go ahead, curl up, grab onto that right leg, pull it in. Flexing both feet especially that left one, take your left forearm and push the inner thigh away as you pull that right leg in closer. Nice. And then you can gently lean just a little bit to that right hand side. Feel the hip open on the left. Hold for one more breath. Good. And then gently release them down. Hug both knees into your chest. Take your hands behind your thighs. And now tuck your chin in and gently rock yourself up. Turn yourself lengthwise onto your mat, coming onto your forearm for some side kicks. You want to make certain that you are lifted up out of the shoulder. So joining, or excuse me, lining the joints up. Shoulder, elbow joint, arm out in that nice angle. Bring the top hand up, lift the rib cage away from the floor, flex both your feet, top leg lifts up, kick the leg forward for one, two, point the toe, slide it back, squeeze into the bottom. Again, flex, kick, kick, and point, draw it back. Good. And reach and pull the tummy tight, three more. Good, last two. Point and reach, last one. Point and reach, bring that leg straight out. Lift, lengthen small circles for 10, nine, eight, good, six, don't sink into that shoulder, four, three, two, oh, and reverse it. 10, nine, eight, six, four, two, 
and pause it, hot potato, tap the toes in front for two, heel back two, toe two, heel two. Two more. Shh, shh. Last one. Shh, shh. Very nice job. Let the legs rest. You're then going to extend your bottom arm all the way out. We're going into a modified banana. So, modified banana. I want you to get your hips in the proper position. Bending your top knee. I want you to take your hip and pull it forward just a little bit and bring that bottom leg just a little bit off the front of your mat. Extend the right leg, pull the tummy in tight, lift the legs up. Good, so the bottom hip should not be digging into the ground. You should have a slight opening in the pelvis, working into the obliques. Leg stays firmly glued together, let the legs come up for 10, nine, beautiful. Eight, squeeze those legs together, seven, pull the tummy in. Six, work into the obliques. Five, four, three, two. Hold the legs up, give me heel beats for 10. Eight, six, four, two, one. Lower the legs down. Stack your hips again. Lengthen your legs out. We're gonna do a little inner thigh work. Your top leg, you're gonna bend it to 90 degrees in front and then let the foot lower down. Keep the knee lifted and in line with that hip. Point the leg on the bottom, lift it up. Good, small circles with that leg. For five, four, reach it up higher. Three, two, and one, reverse it. Five, four, lift it up. Three, two, and one, hold it there, pulse the leg out. 10, eight, six, four, two. Hold the leg up, take your top hand, place it on the floor in front of you, extend your top leg out, open the hips again, modified, little bit more advanced banana. The leg, or excuse me, the hand that's on the floor, you can't see it right now, turn it down to the floor. Pull the tummy in tight, inhale for me. Exhale, bring the knee, top knee and elbow together. And then extend it long, squeeze the legs. Again, exhale, knee and elbow, pinch in. Extend and squeeze the legs together. Again, Good, crunch it up. Six more here. Good, really pinch into that waistline. Four, reach it, squeeze the legs. Three, reach it, squeeze the legs. Last two, and lengthen it, last one. And lengthen it, hold, let the head rest, pulse the legs up, 10, nine, then we're stretching that side, eight. Good, five, almost there, four, that waistline should be burning, three, two, and one, lower the legs down. Bend your knees in, gently push yourself up. Whew, it's getting warm. We're gonna flip the legs for a quick mermaid. So, you can have the legs staggered like this, or you can have them stacked. It is your call. Wherever you are, grab onto that shin, the arm goes up on the waistline that was working. Inhale, exhale, lift up, and lengthen over. Good, pull the shoulders down the back. Really feel the opening into that waistline. Good, slide that bottom hand towards the knee, and then gently open yourself up to the side. Reach, 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 oh, this feels so good. And then gently release yourself up and we slide ourselves back. Whew, I'm getting sweaty. It's hot, 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 hot. I know I keep saying that, but it's hard because when I run my air conditioning, it makes it so noisy. So I just have to suffer in the heat and sweatiness of summer. Okay, enough talking about me. 
Let's go into those side kicks. Shoulder lined up over that elbow joint. Lift it up, top hand comes up, top leg lifts up, side kicks. Kick the leg forward, kick, kick, point the toe, slide it back, squeeze the bottom, flex the foot, kick, kick, point and reach. Again, shh, shh. Good, three more. Last one here. Shh, shh. And then the leg comes parallel, toe pointed. Really lengthen the leg long. Reach the rib cage away from the floor, small circles for 10, eight, six, four, two, and reverse it. 10, reach the leg long, stabilize through the pelvis. Six more, four, three, two, one, hot potato, tap the toes in front and back. Front, shh, shh, and back. Shh, shh. Good, shh, shh. Two more, shh, shh. Last one. Nice, and then let the leg rest. Beautiful, we're gonna lay all the way down onto the ground letting our head rest on that bottom arm. Top leg presses into the floor. Grab onto that bottom hip, lift it up and pull it forward. Bottom leg comes off the front of the mat. Good, modified banana. Legs glued together, fingertips cradle the head, squeeze the legs together in Pilates stance, pull the tummy in, inhale to prepare, and exhale, lift and lower. Good. Feel that waistline engaged. Four more here. Three, two, and one. Hold them up, heel beats for 10. Eight, six, four, two, one, and lower the legs down. Beautiful, now stack your legs. Gonna work those inner thighs. Good, then top leg lifts up, bend the knee in 90 degrees, Lower the foot, so the knee stays lifted to keep the hips stacked. Bottom leg lifts up. From here, circle down, around, up, and lift for five. Four, reach the leg long. Three, two, and one, reverse it. Five, four, three, two, you got it. And one, pulse it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, two, hold it there. Take your top hand, place it onto the floor. Extend your top leg out, legs glued together, hips open, adding on to our modified banana. Elbow high, inhale, exhale, bend the knee. Make sure that palm is pressing down into the ground. And then extend, lower the head, squeeze the legs together. Again, exhale, pinch into the waistline and lengthen it. Go ahead, eight more. Good, last six. Crunch it and lower it. Five, almost done with these. Four, good, squeeze the legs together. Three, very active. Two, last one and lengthen and I can't remember if we pulse the legs up but we're gonna go ahead and do them again for 10 I think we did nine eight squeeze it seven six five pull the belly button in four three fire into those transverse abdominals and one lower the legs down fabulous bend your knees in push yourself up flip the legs either staggered or stacked, whichever you prefer. Grabbing onto the shin, reach the arm up, shoulder down, inhale. Exhale, reach up and lengthen over. Good, nice. And you can slide that bottom hand to the knee, open the chest, reach a little bit more. Good. And then bring yourself up, turn yourself lengthwise onto your mat, onto your hands and knees. 
Okay, had to stop and put my hair up for a second. So anyways, in our tabletop position, I want you to extend your right leg long, flex the right foot, lift the leg up. Now shift forward slightly, bend the elbows for a push up, hugging the elbows in tight and lift that right leg up high to squeeze into the bottom and then push yourself back up into your tabletop. Again, shift forward slightly, bend the elbows to hug them in as you lower, squeeze the right bottom as you lift the leg up high and then bring yourself back up. Three more, inhale, lower, exhale, push up, two more, and push up, last one, and push up, hold there, pulse the leg up for five, four, three, two, one, bend the knee in, extend your left leg, flex the foot, inhale, push up, lower, squeeze the left bottom, hug the elbows in tight, exhale, push up, again, shift forward, bend those elbows, lower into that tricep push up, squeeze that left bottom, and push up, three more here, two more, Last one. Hold it there, pulse the leg up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee in. Come to your forearms. Palms together, interlace those fingers. Extend your left leg, push through the heel, tuck the tailbone, extend the right. Feet are hip width apart, eyes are looking to your thumbnails. Forearm plank. Holding here, lift your right leg, pulse the leg up, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold it there, good, really squeezing into the right bottom, left quad is firing, lower the right foot down, centering yourself out if you need to take a break, now is the time to do so, we have 10 more seconds, then we do the other leg, good, 5, Three, just keep that tummy in tight. Lift the left leg, pulse it up. 10, nine, eight, five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it. Squeeze that left arm, push through that left heel. Right quad is firing and lower the leg. Soften to your knees and push back into child's pose. Reaching the arms nice and long. Slide the hands by the feet, bring the hands up, interlace the fingers and stretch the arms up to the sky. Good, we're almost done. We're gonna do leg pull and then single leg pull and then swimming and then we'll be done, okay? So coming back up, this time finding a high plank. So fingertips are spread wide, shoulders pull down the back, extend your left leg, tuck the tailbone, Hug the abdominals in. Find your high plank with that right leg extended. Good, ready? Inhale, leg pull, shift forward onto your tippy toes. Exhale, push back through the heels. Again, inhale, shift forward, strong in that upper body. Exhale, push back. Two more. Last one. And now lift the hips to find a down dog. Good. So tailbone lifts up high to the sky, heels soften down to the ground, fire into those legs, take an inhale. Exhale, shift forward, find your high plank again. Single leg, leg pull, lift your right leg up, point the toes. Ready, inhale, shift forward, flex that right foot, exhale, push back. Point, inhale, shift forward, flex, push back. Two more, point, and forward, flex, and back. Last one, point, flex, Lower that right leg down. Left leg now. Lift it up, point the toe. Inhale, shift forward. Flex the foot, push it back. Point forward, hug the abdominals and flex. Push back, two more. Last one. Lower that foot down and soften to your knees for child's pose. Beautiful job. Let's stretch those arms one more time. Slide the hands by the heels. Lift the arms up, interlace the fingers, and reach the arms to the sky. 
Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Good. And then gently release the arms down. Let them come out to the front of the mat, so back into child's pose. And now shift yourself forward and lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Good, forehead is on the mat. We're going into a modified swimming and then into our full swimming. So extend your arms up by your ears, palms face into the midline so your thumbs are up to the sky. Let's do back a little bit. Good. Then pull the shoulder blades down the back. Pull the tummy in and up, press the pelvis into the mat. Lift your right arm up and then your left leg. Good, and then lower them down. Then left arm up, right leg, and lower down. Right arm up, left leg, and lower. Left arm up, and right leg, and lower. Now, pull the tummy in, lift your head looking down to the ground. Lift your left leg, right arm. Hold them there. Left arm lifts, right leg lifts. So everything is up and lifted. Shoulders pull down the back. Reach your right arm and left leg a little higher. And then switch. And switch. And switch. And now pick up the pace. Kick, kick, kick. Inhale for three. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. And exhale. And hold. And lift a little higher. And lower all the way down. Good, we're done. Bring the hands next to the chest. Push yourself up, walk your knees forward, and go to child's pose. Let that spine release. Good. Take a deep, deep breath for me. Fabulous work. And now gently shift your body weight forward, spin yourself around, and have a seat and give yourself a hand. Excellent work. I hope you enjoyed the workout. And I hope to see you again very soon. Remember to check out Freedom Ranch Homestead. Get a little taste of who I am and what my family is like and what our next big move is. So I'm excited to have you along for the journey. And we'll see you soon. Bye.